breaking. This is today's headline. 2023 presidency. Why we dragged ex-governor Ojikalu to court. Bauchi indigents. Why we dragged ex-governor Ojikalu to court. Bauchi indigents. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. To Bauchi state indigents. I've dragged a former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, before the Bauchi State High Court. The Bauchi indigent said the senator's failure to declare for the 2023 presidency was responsible for their action. Addressing a press conference in Bauchi, the plaintiffs Aliyu Ladan and Lawan Abdullahi informed that they had an agreement with Kalu to contest the presidency under the platform of APC in 2023, but he was being reluctant to declare his interest. The plaintiffs said they know Kalu's capacity, which is why they want him to be Nigeria's next president, adding that only a strategic thinker like the former Abia State governor could rescue the country from its current Palo State. They added that they approached the court, presided over by Justice Mohammed Esambo, to compel the Senate Chief Whip to not only respect the agreement they had with him, but also to declare his interest to run in the 2023 general election as a presidential candidate. We know his capacity to change the scenario. His capacity to change things from negative to positive. He had done it in Abia State. Despite its challenges, Kalu turned the people of Abia into good persons in Nigeria. As a result of his laudable achievements and leadership capacity, we entered into an agreement with him last second, February 2021, that he will contest for president, but he is reluctant to declare his interest. Kalu is a person with all the capacity and capability to change the narratives of the nation. He is a man of purpose and foresight, a mentor to many citizens. A dynamic Nigerian, an advocate of justice, a revolutionary politician, a consummate administrator, master strategist. In fact, he is a blessing not only to Igbo, but entire all Nigerians. We are in court because we want the court to respect our agreement for contesting our president of Nigeria. We want the court to compel Kalu to declare his interest to run in the 2023 general election as a presidential candidate under the platform of APC or any other party. We want the court to direct Kalu to commence preparation and put all the necessary machinery in place for the purpose of contesting as a presidential candidate, the plaintiffs said. According to the duo, many credible groups across the six geopolitical zones of the country were drumming support for Kalu to V for the 2023 presidency, noting that they found the former governor worthy to lead Nigeria and deliver good governance to the country. They asserted that Kalu's credibility, honesty, and capacity to deliver endeared him to all Nigerians, adding that Kalu has deep relationships with all Nigerians across the divide, and he has never disappointed in any of these relations. He knows many Nigerians and has so many businesses across the north and southern parts of the country for decades and has never disappointed anybody in terms of buying and selling because he is a man of his word, a trustworthy. We find him worthy because we know whatever he says, he will do. He does and whatever he says, he will not do. He will not do it. He is sincere to Nigerians, and Nigerians are always sincere to him. They, however, urge the ruling All Progressives Congress to commence the process of adopting him as its sole presidential candidate, declaring that Kalu's managerial skill 
experience and national appeal puts him in the best position to rule Nigeria in 2023. Meanwhile, they informed that while their case against the former governor had been adjourned to 27th January 2022 for hearing, Justice Sambo had ordered them to serve Kalu with the originating summons in the suit marked BA 3031-2021 in Abuja outside the jurisdiction of the court. Two Bauchi state indigents have dragged the former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, before the Bauchi State High Court. The Bauchi indigent said the senator's failure to declare for the 2023 presidency was responsible for their action. Addressing a press conference in Bauchi, the plaintiffs Aliyu, Ladan, and Lawan Abdullahi informed that they had an agreement with Kalu to contest the presidency under the platform of APC in 2023, but he was being reluctant to declare his interest. The plaintiffs said they know Kalu's capacity, which is why they want him to be Nigerian's next president, adding that only a strategic thinker like the former Abia governor could rescue the country from its current palace state. They added that they approached the court presided by over by Justice Mohamed Esambo to compel the Senate Chief Whip to not only respect the agreement they had with him, but also to declare his interest to run in the 2023 general election as a presidential candidate. We know his capacity to change this scenario, his capacity to change things from negative to positive. He had done it in Abia State despite its challenges. Kalu turned the people of Abia into good persons in Nigeria. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.